Beginning today, it's going to cost us all more to take MTA subways, buses, and commuter railroads. A fire, a fa pardon me, a fare hike went into effect overnight. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negevin live on the Upper West Side with a look at the numbers. Tom, are you at 72nd Street? That's what it looks like to me. I'm at, yeah. I'm at 72nd Street, yes, right. yes I am. Right. Some other numbers for you too, uh, Michelle. Quite a few of them this morning because you know how we love to talk about numbers early on a Sunday. Uh, this is about a four, four and a half percent increase across the board. So here at the subway at 72nd Street, that'll equate to about a 15 cent uh, increase each way. Same for buses. Let's take a look at, at sort of how it breaks down by the numbers. That subway and bus fare goes up from 275 to 290 effective today. Uh, your monthly metro card goes from $127 to $132. Express bus fares go from $675 to $7. Bucks. A seven-day bus pass now goes for $64. We've actually been getting a break, as you guys will know, up to now. Uh, increases paused during the pandemic. We haven't actually seen uh, bus and subway fares go up in the city since 2015. The last fare increase we saw from the MTA period was in 2019. These are very important numbers to the MTA and it says, listen, it's time for an increase. We need this money to make capital improvements, keep the buses and trains running. Uh, the MTA chair talking about the way they phased this in, the way they plan to carry it forward with Eyewitness News at an event in Queens earlier this week. As part of the solution, the, the, the governor and the legislature attacked the problem of the MTA's budget deficit, which was in excess of a billion dollars, and they solved it. But part of the solution was a restoration of the small uh, fare increases that we have always done, about 2% a year, 4% every two years. In order to hit that number, we needed to eliminate some of the promotional fares that were we started just at the beginning of, you know, during COVID. This was one of them. And Jenna Levo making a reference there to a billion dollars in state funding that helped ease the pain of increases uh, at the MTA for commuters while keeping the budget relatively balanced. Uh, so this is about a $305 million boost for the MTA's bottom line. Uh, the good news here, some of the good news, is that uh, reduced fares for impoverished New Yorkers and for senior citizens remain untouched in all of this. Additional revenue expected next year when congestion pricing is expected to take effect.